<laughs> and, and I'll say something, you know, this axe, this Leviathan axe. There it oh, is. Oh, that's rad. So cool. Just throwing it back and forth. And it just recalling it. You can look at that. Tripping oh, enemies. Oh, yeah. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to PlayStation Underground. We got something real special lined up for you today. Myself, Sid Schumann, Justin Massingo, and Kristen Titus are going to walk you through some new footage from God of War hey, launching on PS4 April 20th. Boy. And my goodness gracious, does this game look sensational. What do you guys think? Wow, that looks that looks very good. <laughs> now, Justin, you have not played it. Kristen, I'm, not, I'm coming totally fresh here. That's right. Kristen, you and I uh, got a chance to oh, play yes. this. Yes, we did. And I think it's safe to say that we liked what we played. So first things first, I'm noticing R1, R2 for your yes. attacks. That's oh, yeah. a big change. Yes, indeed. Uh, no more face buttons. I believe that is still an option that you can select as an optional thing. But you're going to see why when you start playing the game. It's just it's a lot more tactile. It's a lot more immersive. And here we have a parry. You still yeah, got that yeah. classic action from God of War. And I'll say something. You know, this axe, this Leviathan axe. There it oh, is. Oh, that's rad. So cool. Just throwing it back and forth. And it just recalling it. You can look at that. Tripping oh, enemies. Oh, yeah. So how? tell me how Bam. the actual mechanics of using that axe works. You throw it like a boomerang? You No, you th you throw it, and you sort of aim at something. You toss it, and it if it hits an enemy, it'll freeze them in place. Okay. You can use it in puzzles. You can then hit a button. I think it's square. You recall it back in oh, your okay. hand. So right there, you can oh, see yeah, he's frozen. Oh, yeah, stuck in that guy's face. Okay. Now, right now, Kratos' the fisticuffs yeah, is yeah, yeah. very, very fun in this game. It's oh. as much fun, I think, as the axe. What do you think, Kristen? I loved whenever I would throw the axe and then just start beating up on somebody else. Uh, occasionally, you'll have an enemy where you actually have to use that tactic. It, it uh, definitely wants you to use everything in your in your arsenal. And, and so you have you have like completely different move sets depending yep. on whether the mm -hmm. axe is in his hands or stuck in an enemy's chest. Right, you got a shield, like a full blown shield. A little yeah, bit, little yeah. bit of little dab of Dark Souls there. You kind of walk around. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Shield comes in handy for this hand to hand combat too. One of the best defense is good offense, right? So these are the lighter slashes with the axe. I think it's R1. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's a little bit reminiscent of the classic games, just with more impact. You can see juggling the enemy, hammering him into the ground. The cat looks really chunky. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very beefy. That was, uh, I was talking to Corey Barlog. He's the creative director at Santa Monica. And that was, they wanted this weapon, this Leviathan axe, to have a weight to it. And I say mission yeah. accomplished. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I see like a chain over there to the left that you were watching. That's, that's cool. Still, they got those Man, brutal. Just, yeah, they are not toning down the uh, brutality of this game. That's right. Yeah. So here's that that chain, oh, your yeah. eagle eye caught there. Now here's a here's a cool example of a puzzle. I remember this one instantly. This uh, axe. It in place. Oh, cool. Clever. Yeah, it's it's uh, little things like that. I really like how they come with the puzzle solving in this. I always liked the puzzles in the last games, but it got to be a little bit of much with the block pushing and everything. They really opened that up in this oh, game. Oh, big change. You uh, didn't have to mash that button to open the chest. That's correct. Uh, hack silver is one of the uh, sort of um, resources you'll collect. Is that like a currency, a crafting material? How, what's what's that all A little about? bit of all of the above. A little bit of both, okay. yeah. Just recall that back. Yeah. So cool. So <laughs> it, 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 nothing is more satisfying, though, when you do it. You got the big guy the here. Big boy. Yep. So, interesting detail here. Um, you can either sort of let Atreus kind of just circle the perimeter, and he'll kind of do his own thing. Yeah. Call out enemy positions, things like that. Or you can actually manually direct him with the sun button, yeah, which I think is square. Button. You can aim and have him fire directly at whatever you oh, want. Oh, I like how the axe just kind of bounced off in there. Yeah. That was kind of was fun. These trolls are not easy, I can tell you that right now. But Atreus definitely becomes very helpful. He can, he can distract your enemy for you. He can sort of draw attention so you can just dive right in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to give them some time to, to build back those arrows so they they won't always be there. You so gotta you can't use just them. Say, fire, fire, fire. Exactly. <laughs> oh, and I see in the bottom right, the, is that an indication yep. of how many arrows he has available? Exactly. Gotcha. This, this guy takes some punishment. Yeah. The detail on these characters is, is staggering. Oh, and if, real quick, if you look at Kratos here, look at his look at his kind of his, his butt, his thighs. You can see <laughs> his remnants of his old armor poking out. You see those red straps? Oh, see what I mean? Like, there's a ton of details. Look at the wrappings on his arms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From, from the where chains. The, where the chains were, yeah. Yeah, the it's super super cool character design in this. Obviously, he's got the classic uh, uh, red war paint or, or or scar or whatever yeah, that is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 
different kinds of chests of different <laughs> animations. That's one way to open a chest. Yeah. Classic Kratos. So there's he a, doesn't have time to open chests. There's a there's a lot of looting in this game. There's a lot of just kind of items and things, like just reasons to explore sort of the world huh. around you. Huh. Uh, I I was digging in every nook and cranny. Yeah, I do, do we know any more about how that all works, like the, the progression in terms of uh, like the currency system and the economy? Yeah, we're going to see a little bit more of that later on, but uh, yeah, there is that is deeper, I think, than you may be anticipating. So stay tuned. Oh, I got the old uh, uh, instruction manual here. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. Reversible little bit of, box art there. A little bit of Norse mythology. How did they get up there? What's so the happening there at the end? They eat the sun and moon, and then everybody fights. Like Atreus oh. the scholar. That's right. Yeah, he can read all the sort of runic uh, messages uh, that are scattered around. So is Kratos able to read that? Stuff he is all? not. <laughs> oh, I see. So that's one of the things that's interesting about this game. That's super cool right there. I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Atreus really is, as you can see, he's like, he's not. There's like zero maintenance involved. Oh, here's one of these kills. Bam! Wow. Satisfying. Yeah, you can. Uh, there's actually a stun quality that you can apply to enemies using your fists. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. So you, s it kind of adds stun damage, and then you can click R3 and do the sort of one-hit takedown, which is really satisfying. Man, the way that enemies react to hits is so just like juicy, so, so organic. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it it looks awesome. I saw something on the side of the screen a moment ago that said new labor. It looked like those are like challenges because mm -hmm. I yep. saw that when he shattered that enemy, he said new labor shatterer. So I assume that then if you go shatter a bunch of them. Exactly. Sort of the the more um, enemies that you come into contact with, the more you fill out your bestiary. Yeah. Um, it'll be you'll get labors that are you know kill this amount of enemies and you can receive X Y and Z. But some of them will be do a specific move to take them down. Um, just giving you a little bit more challenge beyond just the hack and slash. Look at uh, Treyas there holding that oh, guy down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you can look at that kicking people into each <laughs> oh, other. Yeah. It's just Super seamless. Cool. Yeah. A tooltip a moment ago, press down on the D-pad to do a quick turn. So that mm -hmm. sounds uh, like really uh, like a street of those things over there. Absolutely. You'll also see in the bottom left, uh, there's a meter towards the bottom that is filling up as Kratos yeah. keeps yeah. beating people down. That's his, I put the rage meter? Spartan rage, so yeah. that uh, fills up. Some things just don't change, yeah. Justin. <laughs> yeah, I mean, as you can see, <laughs> as you can see, bam! I mean, it's just really crunchy combat. It was the thing that I immediately noticed as soon as I started playing. It was just like, man, that axe feels good. If you pay attention, the, the camera actually lends to the way that combat Absolutely. feels, too. It shakes a little bit when there's an impact. You get a sense of that impact, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, the Blades of Exile, Blades of Chaos from the last games, I mean, they were really cool weapons, but this one just has this sort of nastiness to it yeah, that I yeah, really yeah. appreciate. Yeah. But it, it'll feel familiar though when you're using it. I mean, it's, there's, a, there's some of the strategies are still kind of uh, you know evoked there. Another, another new thing, uh, XP. Well, I guess you sort of had like there was the progression in the old games, but now we have like the standard XP stats. Uh, there, yeah. yeah, we're gonna get a closer look a little later, but yeah. These aren't moving. Are they dead? I mean, more dead. The graphics here are just. <laughs> Insane. I like how they actually even went to the trouble of building in the little hook on the mm -hmm. back of his armor for the axe, rather than having it just kind of float in place. There. Yeah, so uh, as the game just helpfully reminded us, there are actually different levels of enemies at your fight. So that was actually a super smart move there, driving that guy off that cliff. Oh, yeah. But some of these uh, droggers you're fighting here, that's sort of the foot soldiers, the undead foot soldiers, some of them are much tougher than others. Hold L1, then press R1 to perform a light runic attack. What does that mean? That is a type of magic. Um, it's it's something that you can get. Uh, you can imbue your attacks with it. Oh. Oh. Was that R3? You click R3. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. yeah, and that was my move. I would run in there bare knuckle brawling. <laughs> I loved it. So I fun. love how the axe can even hit guys on the way. So it, it's smart to throw the axe at somebody that's kind of line of sight yourself exactly. with yeah. it and call it back. It is much more strategic, the combat in this game. There are going to be, look at that. That was a perfect example of recalling the axe, hitting yeah, two yeah, guys yeah. In, in one go. But look at this. I mean, this is not a kinder, gentler Kratos, but it is a little <laughs> bit of a more strategic Kratos. And yeah, that's something yeah, I yeah. really appreciated as I played this. Oh, yeah. Man, this looks so good. Yeah. Did he just like charge up throwing that axe? Yeah. Nice. I didn't even know he could do that, but huh. yeah, this is this is a really good looking game. Oh, there's some loot on the ground. You missed it. Pick up. Pick up the shiny stuff. Show me control. 
So this relationship between Kratos and Atreus is like a foundation of this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you really pick up on it within minutes of playing it. You immediately are captivated by the relationship they've got. Wow. Uh, th slowing things down a little bit here. There's your loot. Those uh, green so items are, are, are health. Mm -hmm. okay, uh, okay. So that's treated a little bit differently. You don't have to open chests every oh, time now to get more. This used to be a marketplace. The giants used to gather here to trade with the gods a long time ago. I wonder so if Odin was ever here. I love the Norse mythology just kind of winds its way around it's everything. It's exactly. Just, it yeah. feels natural. Yeah. You're, you're kind of unraveling it, and it's, it's obviously a unique sort of interpretation. Do, do you know anything about how closely they kind of stuck to the original mythology or how many liberties they took? I think it's... So that's the thing about Norse mythology is it's super open to interpretation. Mm -hmm. uh, there's different names, different characters. There's there's a lot of different interpretations of it. So, you know, when I talked to Corey about that, uh, he explained that they really wanted to kind of make their own mark on it and kind of do their own version of it. So we don't know how far it goes just yet because we're just getting a you know an early Still look at the taste. game wow. but uh i guess you're just gonna have to play it when it comes out justin oh, april 20th <laughs> <laughs> only on playstation 4. these are heavy droggers yeah. uh these guys are serious business i was i was really struggling with them they're tough look there's a great parry look at that oh yeah that was awesome. great oh, oh, shadow oh. That guy. okay yeah so good i was really i was really excited for this game but when i played it i was like get out of the way oh what's happening here what was that is that like a perfect parry kind of? Thing? A little bit of runic magic, I believe. Oh, cool. I see you can press uh, L3 and R3 together to do something. That's Spartan Rage. Yeah, that's a, that's a real interesting take on that one, too. Boom. Oh, I see they have like a little uh, snowflake meter above their health bar as you're hitting them with that axe. I assume that when that fills up, that's when they freeze. Mm hmm. Nothing like stepping on a little health crystal. It's so cool to finally see this game in action. We've seen so many yep. awesome looking trailers. The game has looked so impressive ever since we revealed it a couple of years ago. Um, just seeing it being played now just is so encouraging. And man, they really, it looks like they just nailed it. Yeah. I mean, that was my take on it. Like, I, I, I just sort of fell in love instantly. What's happening? This is here? an interesting part. Yeah. Say, be quiet. <laughs> it's our, the Revenant. Uh, that's the Revenant. So Whoa. she's a little too quick for Kratos. Like, that's the thing. Oh. See? Ah, but maybe Atreus can uh -huh. stun her in a strategic arrow. Boom, Boom, right there. Nice. So it's, it's, it's battles like this that really show you how integral Atreus is. He's not, yeah. He's yeah. not just a companion. He is absolutely a part of the fight. That's awesome. So he's going for the stun damage right there. He got it. R3, do it. Ooh. Oh. Oh. There's okay. the brutal yeah. Kratos oh. we all know. Yeah, if anybody was worried that uh, Kratos was going to be getting a little kinder in his old age. I expect an improvement. This fun little character. What's this guy's name? Brock. 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 B R O K. Right. Brock. This little blue guy. Where's the other half of the brand? Oh, my dumb brother's got it. But I got all the talent. This guy oh. cracked me up. Yeah, this this I didn't know what to make of this character, but <laughs> is he like a blacksmith? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So here you go. Just getting to the deep dive stuff here. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's juicy. Here's the fun stuff. Mm-hmm. I mean, everything else looks like <laughs> I'm a nerd for like <laughs> upgrade trees and progression stuff and all that. I, this, this game is going to speak to you, my yeah, friend. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There was a lot more going on here than I was expecting, to be totally honest. See, I mean, this uh, is what I was interested in. You yeah. Got a fashion. Be too careful now. <laughs> got a fashion. <laughs> Another quick look. If you look down uh, his lower torso, you see that classic armor poking well, out from beneath. Now, oh, our sneaky. friends who were hiding in the trees are back for more. Go on, give that axe a twirl. Got that upgraded Leviathan axe here, and you're gonna see this thing is way more potent now. Boom. Wait, are you just fighting this thing right in front of Brock? Yeah. <laughs> As you do. Oh, so satisfying. Oh, that parry is so So nice. satisfying. Yeah. Oh, we got the air juggles going. Oh, yeah, so big time, big nice. time. So again, there's going to be some things veterans are going to recognize, and that's one of them. Oh, I love yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. I love this little move. Oh, I was just going to ask what that what was going on with that. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, there's a lot of environment interaction, mm -hmm. kicking guys in the walls. You know, you can, if you're clever. You can kind of, you know, drop pots on their head, things like that. Yeah. 
Oh yeah. And a lush uh, natural environment for you. The environment work here is just stunning. Yeah. It's stunning. Yeah. Really, really pretty game. Even just from it going between cutscenes back into combat, back to the gameplay, it's it's seamless, honestly. Are are the cutscenes all like rendered, uh, uh, like with the uh, kind of in engine, or do they do the the cut like the pre-rendered stuff like uh, in previous games? Well, or? no. It's uh, this game has that whole philosophy around like no camera cuts. It's mm -hmm. like one. Okay. It's just one cut from beginning to end. So nice. you just go right through the entire game. It doesn't break away to say like, oh, check out what's going on over here. You're just with Kratos and Atreus for the entire experience. You know oh, what I mean? Cool. It's very intimate. It was something that actually they settled on really early in development. So. Boy, over here. Boy. Huh. Interesting. I may want to write that down. Tell us more. So that's a fresh new look at God of War. It's coming out April 20th on PS4. What would you guys think? Real quick. Oh, man. It looks incredible. I can't wait. I'm just constantly blown away by it. Yeah. So we what do have actually a lot more coming, so stay with us, but uh, we've got a lot more.